Hello! If you're considering buying Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, or maybe you're just curious about how it's doing, either way, this video is for you. Modern Warfare 3, the highest selling Call of Duty game to date, with over 30 million copies sold worldwide, Activision definitely did something right backing this game. Alright, let's get right down to it. The campaign. Taking place right after Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 puts us right in the middle of World War 3. Soap McTavish is bleeding out with a stab wound from Shepard. And on top of that, on the other side of the world, the Russians are attacking New York. It's a losing fight. We cannot lose New York. The first playable part of the campaign, you start off as Delta Force, a U.S. Army division tasked with destroying a jamming signal set up by the Russians. Throughout the campaign, you play as two main characters, Yuri and Frost. Yuri is an ex-Bessnaz soldier, while Frost is part of Delta Force. I won't go into too much more detail about the campaign, for boredom's sake, so let's get right into the Special Ops. Special Ops returns in Modern Warfare 3 with two new types of Special Ops, Survival and Chaos Mode. In Survival Mode, you play on one of the multiplayer maps, alone or with friends, while holding off waves of enemy soldiers. Survival Mode's kinda like the Zombies Mode, but like, not as cool. Now, Chaos Mode, on the other hand, is a DLC-exclusive arcade-style survival mode. I don't actually own the DLC, uh, unfortunately, so I can't show gameplay of it. The last part of Special Ops is the missions, and they're basically the same missions from the campaign, but a little mixed up and time-based, usually. The goal is to complete all objectives in a certain time frame. Overall, special missions are fun. They're not zombies, but, you know, it's a good third game mode. If you don't have any friends, like I said, you can play solo. Or, you can go into online mode and find a match through public match. There's usually only a couple people playing in special ops, though, so be warned. Now, let's get into what you all are probably here for. The multiplayer! Modern Warfare 3 actually did have a server browser when it came out on PC. Although, it is very dead, and there's like one game with people in it at all times, and it's usually like gun game with 150 ping in the, in the Europe or something. As for the regular peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer, there is about 200 to 1,500 people at any given time in the multiplayer. It's not the biggest base, but it's enough to find a game, even if you have like 150 ping in if you live in the U.S. The only way to, to truly get a game, though, is to disable DLC. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of people that actually own the DLC, so it's really not worth getting. I do like the fact that there's both a server browser and a peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer, although I do wish there was dedicated servers in the regular multiplayer. As for the viability in 2018, there's a small niche player base still, so if you liked Modern Warfare 3, it's probably not got the same appeal as it did back in the day. You're probably better off getting it in backwards compatibility on Xbox. I'm going to be honest with you here and say that I never actually played Modern Warfare 3 on the PC when it came out. I 1 didn't have the money for it and 2 didn't have a PC that could run it. So, would I recommend buying it in 2018? If you live in the US, then probably not, but if you live in, say, Germany or somewhere, then you might enjoy it. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you. And I hope you're now more informed on your decision to buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 or not. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Hey guys, one quick note here. I am doing a Q&A because I had a viewer that I promised 
I would do that at 100 subscribers, and I'm now at 130 something now, if not more. So, if you want to leave a comment, and I will try to answer as many questions as I can in the next video.